Meghan Markle and Prince Harry hope to return to the UK as part-time royals when Prince Charles ascends the throne, a royal author has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped back from royal duties two years. Since quitting royal duties, the couple has gone on to establish new careers as private citizens by pursuing philanthropic work and signing deals with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify. Harry, 37, and Meghan, 40, moved to the US where they live with their two children, Archie and Lilibet. Since departing, Harry has only come to the UK on two occasions and never with his family in tow. Also, the Duke recently launched a lawsuit arguing that it is currently unsafe for his family to make the trip overseas without paid police protection. Now a royal author has claimed that the couple may make a return to royal life. Tom Quinn told the Today for Daily podcast that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex may be interested in a royal comeback in the future. He said, one interesting thing an insider told me, is that both Meghan and Harry believe that when the elder royals die, in other words, Elizabeth, they may well be able when Charles is king, be able to come back and be the part-time royals that they really wanted to be. So that they would be six months, as, working royals and six months in the States or wherever doing their own thing. That was something that Queen Elizabeth absolutely said couldn't happen, but I think Meghan and Harry are hoping that Charles, Harry's father after all, will be more of a modernizer and will say to them, OK, if you want to be part-time royals, that's fine. I don't think Harry and Meghan really want to spend their whole time in the States and not be part of the royal family, they just don't want to do it all the time. The royal author went on to claim that, despite reports about royal fears surrounding the content of Harry's upcoming memoir, Harry has never held any intention of damaging the royal institution. Instead, Tom claims that Harry wants to find his role within the firm. He said, I don't think Harry does want to destroy the royal family. I think he just really does want to find a role. He doesn't really have a role in the royal family because he's the spare rather than the heir, but there's still lots of hospitals to open, meetings to go to, charities to support. He could have had a limited role, but in California what can he do? So I think really rather than damage the royal family I think he's just madly in love with Meghan and wants to make her happy. On Saturday, Meghan and Harry Maid attended their first joint public engagement of the year, as they accepted a top accolade at the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People NAACP, Image Awards. The couple were presented with the prestigious President's Award in recognition of special achievement and distinguished public service for their humanitarian work. During a speech, the Sussexes paid tribute to the people of Ukraine amid the ongoing crisis and called for global support for the country. Meghan also added that she couldn't be prouder that we're doing this work together. The Duchess then said, We are so deeply humbled to be here in the company of such illustrious awardees. Kinsey Schofield's podcast can be found at todayfordaily.com or by searching Today for Daily on all major podcast platforms. <laughs>